This tutorial is for advanced beginners in Blender. I'm using version 2.63a and this is a little bit of a powerful animation lesson and so you should be familiar with the soft body physics tutorials that I have listed and likely even the particle systems as well because I'll just kind of be stepping through those fairly quickly. So uh, let's get rid of this cube for the starters and add a uh, we'll add a plane to the scene instead and let's see where it is. It must be down there somewhere. And I'm going to rotate it on X, R, X like this. And I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And I'll move it down here. Of course, you do know that it needs a color. <laughs> it does. I will make it yellow. Alright, so what we're going to do, this is going to be our object that we're going to move around and it's going to be a, uh, this will be soft body physics. So we'll have to give it those effects, but you know we have to go into the vertex group first and edit that, and we're going to give it a name here, and we'll just give it, we'll call it first group. It's really going to be the only group I think we'll use, and instead of the weight being set up here fixed, we're going to set it at point 0.1 like we've done before and assign it. Alright, so they're free to roam, and then I'll edit, get out of there, drop it down in size and I'll put it say kind of approximately in front of where that is facing over there alright and maybe down like this and we're just kinda of getting it set up for starters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this along the plane and we'll use this as a wind force so we'll add a wind force here to it like this we've done this before uh, where is the wind and we'll make sure it's pointing in the right direction and it is and then this is our soft body that we've done before and we have to come down here and the easy way of course just for starters is to crank up the these values like this and then of course most importantly making sure you set the vertex group for this one and like we did in one of the other tutorials we'll send this up and that'll simulate it like a, a rigid body instead of a soft body be kind of a rigid soft body all right so let's run it and see if we have it set up right and so it's moving it along in the scene. All right, it's kind of moving it. Oh, this must we might need a collision plane in here for this. What did I do? How come I can't get my physics button to come up? There it is, collision. We'll make that a collision plane, and we'll look at it from above, and verify that this thing is sitting. Well, it's pretty close to it, like that. All right, we'll maybe make it a little bit closer. Alright, so, oh, I see why it's probably not doing it there. We'll move it down so it's a little more aligned with it like that. Alright, well, now say you have another object in the scene. And you want to move it at a different rate. So, what you can do, since you already have the, the value of setting this up first with the soft body physics in the vertex group, is now all we need to do is copy it, since it already has it set in there. I mean, you could have put five, say, spheres in the scene and then ha gone through and separately changed the parameters, but since you already have it here, then we can just change it. We can just, let's see if I can do this like this. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. So I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to do Shift-D and then press X, and I'll move one copy there, Shift-D-X there, Shift-D-X there, and Shift-D-X there, like this. Okay, so now we have five in the scene. Now, as far as this is concerned, this is, yeah, sure, why not? Let's just do the same thing here. Let's just get this and do Shift D X, Shift D X, all right. And now let's just run it first for starters and see what happens. It's going to be a little bit slow probably because we're running a bunch of uh, oh yes we're running them all at the same time so that's even taxing on this system holy cow 1.68 frames per second all right you know what just because we don't need that many and it'll we don't we don't need it to for the entire lesson anyway we'll get rid of some of these just to save some speed soft bodies are really demanding obviously processing wise okay but they're all moving at the same rate but I want them to move at a different rate so if I was to go over here and the first thing if I did was made this its own try to make this its own object data materials and text I pressed U on the keyboard 
and I'll do that. And then let me see if I can actually change this force field to be a little bit different. Let's see if I drop it down. No, let's, let's crank it up and see, compare it to this. So it is, it does have a separate force field, right? So it, I'll highlight them all so you can see them. All right, so this is stronger. And then let's say this one, I'll do the same thing. I'll press U, make it a separate object, data materials and text, and I'll maybe make this even stronger, like that. Okay, and we'll verify that by looking at all three. So there we have three different velocities, essentially, forces that are going to change the make these move at a different rate all right so with this it's really a force so um, yeah with this when we press all day well they should all move at the same at different speeds right let's see we'll press all day and see what happens and nope they don't they move at the same speed and you go well what's wrong with that well it's because they're basically all on the same layer, so it's actually taking a combination of all three and applying it to the one. And I can verify that for you by I'll take these two here, just for the moment, I'm going to press M and I'm going to move those to layer two. All right, now I'm going to press Alt A. And they all three move. Now you would not think that would be the case, but they all three move. Even though it's set, that's one set right there. Okay, well, but that's a good thing to know, just so you're aware of it. So in order to change that situation to make sure it works right, is we want we really want all three, and we'll we'll go over into here, and we'll leave this one on layer two, and we'll pick this one up, and we'll move that to layer three. So now we have a one on there, one on there and that one on this layer and then since that's the middle that's the that's the first one over there on the second layer should have done the opposite direction but it doesn't matter so I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to move that to the second layer because that's where the wind is for that I'm going to take that one and I'm going to move that to the third layer and I'll go look at those layers make sure they're aligned yeah that one's aligned with there and that one's aligned with that one and so that one's there and then I just have to sh hold down the shift key and press that one and that one and make sure they're all on they're all visible but the, even though they're on different layers now let's press alt a and see what happens mm -hmm. and they're all taking off at a different speed alright so that is the trick to keeping these animations in control because they will get ahead of you and uh, we, with this, it gives you a lot more power in your animations and a lot more fun. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.